Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading for June 2023. A little late, I know. I've been fighting some type of cold or flu, I don't even know. Um, anyways, this is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Some of you may have planets in the sign of Aquarius. Um, or you may be here just checking up on an Aquarius's energy. Um, whatever brought you, welcome. Let's go ahead and get right into your reading. You've been waiting long enough. I know some of you are starting to email me like, Sandy, where's my reading? Um, so I apologize for making you wait. All right, we're going to use three different decks. We're going to start with Mother Mary for our words of wisdom. Um, I'm going to use the crystal vision to do any clarifying or to go a level deeper. And for your main spread, I'm going to use the uh, Light Seer's Tarot. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into this. We're going to start with Mother Mary. Again, this is for June. However, we all know time is fluid. What I mean by that is sometimes a reading um, will find you in a different date, but it just seems like the right time. Um, or you find it at, you know, when you need it the most. So... Sometimes you're intuitively guided to a reading, but you may like look at the time and be like, ah, I don't know if I want to invest an hour. So you go buy it. And then something, you know, something's like, hmm, I don't know, maybe I should watch it. You know, that's your intuition speaking. That's your guides helping to guide you. Okay. There's your card. I could feel it. All right, let's see what we have. Trust trust i know that god in his infinite wisdom and love is answering my prayers right now trust your prayers are being answered right now we want to make sure we understand that this isn't like down the road this is talking about now now sometimes our prayers are answered differently than um let's just say our request but if that's the case it's tenfold of what we wished for all right let's go ahead and bring in the light sears and everything is pre-shuffled by the way we'll read this from the book at the end of the reading i don't know if you believe me yet or not but i'm telling you that's where the words are most profound those who stick around to the end understand what i'm saying all right let's give them a cut and I am going to shuffle for your cards. So let's go ahead and begin. Okay, well, that didn't take long at all. All right, we have the Empress. And then we have the Tower. Interesting. You don't normally see the Tower attached to the Empress. I'll bring that down a little bit. We have the Four of Pentacles. We're going to hear a loud car in a second. That's my neighbor who's helping Sam with his truck. We have the Death card. You know, I feel like... Uh, you know, I feel like I definitely have to say, I feel like someone may have had a miscarriage, lost a child. Um, but I feel like, um, and, and I feel like, you know, while you were pregnant, if that's the case. Um, but, you know, the death card, it says right on it, death, but then a rebirth. So I feel like, you know, whatever I may have lost within the tower's energy... There's a rebirth in your life. This could be talking about, for some, another baby. For some of you, this the Empress, um, you know, the Empress is very creative and she gives birth to her ideas. You, maybe not all your ideas have worked out. But listen, I feel like if that's the case, they put you on a track that, um, you know, because it, it may seem like it didn't work out, but... I feel like in the long run, you're going to look back and be like, okay, I understand why that didn't work out. Let's keep going. I 
I feel like if you're working from home and same thing, like, you know, uh, something just didn't work out. I feel like there's a new avenue being open for you. Well, look at this, the Three of Pentacles. Beautiful energy coming under the Empress. Um, because both of them are, are very creative type energy. Three of Pentacles is about something that you do that's unique to you. Doesn't mean other people don't do it, but the way you do it is unique. Right? Like nobody could really copy what you do. This is also the energy of collaboration. Maybe I tried something on my own, didn't quite work out. And maybe the perfect partner. And it doesn't have to mean like, you know, um, like I'm doing a partnership, you know, like signing a contract. It may just be someone that you collaborate with that gets you thinking. Um, maybe even, you know, and this could be me, like someone telling you what you do is um, truly unique and not to give up. Oh, I don't know what that was on my phone. I mean, my laptop. Oh, it went away. Okay. Two threes, by the way. Someone may have a master number 33. And by the way, if you have a life path, which is a master number, um, know that you're here to master something. And it's usually, like if you have a master number 33, three and three would be six. So it's usually within the six, which could talk about relationships. Um, but like if you're a master number 11, it's within, t you know, the lesson may lie within the two. It's not the only lesson, but um, it's a major one. All right. We have the Hierophant coming under the tower. It's asking you not to give up your belief. You know, to continue to believe in yourself, even if something did not go right. And then, interesting, we have two of cups. This is a soulmate energy. You know, some of you may find yourself inspired by another or another is inspired by you. And um, you may connect in that way. I love the Hierophant next to the Two of Cups. The Hierophant, first of all, is the card of Taurus, I should say that. And Death card, card of Scorpio. Um, but the Hierophant really talks about your beliefs, you know, and it, coming under the tower, it's asking you not to stop believing in yourself. And I do feel like it's yourself, like especially with this Three of Pentacles. Don't stop believing in yourself. Reminds me of a Journey song. Don't stop. Was that Journey? Um, and then this Two Cups being right now mirrored by the Three of Pentacles. So someone else is seeing that uniqueness within you. You know, I feel like when the Two of Cups comes out, it does speak of a soulmate. So, you know, whoever this may be, whether it be love, um, work, maybe it turns into love. Um, this is someone who can, you know, they see your soul. Um, this is the energy of like recognition, even if I don't know who they are, it's like, I feel it. You know what I mean? Like, did you ever meet a friend and it's like, you immediately become best friends where your soulmates trust in that. All right, let's keep going. All right, we have the Three of Swords, which eh, eh, doesn't sound good, right? But it's coming under the Death card. So first and foremost, it's letting me know that there was some pain associated with whatever uh, door closed, let's just say. But there is another door opening. And so Death card would also talk about, you know, it's easier said than done to say let go of the heartache. But maybe what it's really saying is one way that you can overcome previous heartache is to get into your own creative nature. You know, Aquarius, you're very um, free-loving. And I don't mean that as in loose. I just mean as in, um, hmm, what's a, how do I mean it? I mean it like, you just know what you know. And I think feel like you gotta 
trust in that. I feel like you're a very psychic sign. Anyways, interesting, we have three threes. Three swords now is mirrored by the three of pentacles. And then the empress, all threes. You know, I definitely feel as this is relating to love also that also something didn't work out there. But in the same breath, again, I feel like whatever did not work out is being reborn in a different way. I was going to say a better way, but I don't know if that's the right word. All right, let's keep going. We have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This king comes to the table in the upright. So this is someone who um, has an open heart. This would be someone who would easily be able to express their emotions. Um, you may, you know, I'm thinking maybe so much so that it, it's like, ugh, it bothers you a little. I feel like this king is part of the Three of Pentacles, the someone who's admiring you. Whether you know that or you don't, because the person in Three of Pentacles, I feel like, is I'm so focused on my creative um, project that I, I'm not really paying attention to what's going on around me. Well, someone else is. Someone else is paying attention. Now, that doesn't have to be a water sign. You know, I feel the King of Cups is someone who... Um, does appreciate a relationship. Now, I know not always. Um, I was married to a King Cups, and he was totally in reverse. But in the upright, very loving. In reverse, can be a flirt. You know, can be uh, someone who shares their love with others. But he's not in, in the reverse. He's in the upright. All right, let's keep going. Six of Wands. Well, that's victory. I love how um, we go from the Six or the Three of Pentacles. Again, that is something you're doing that's unique to the world. You know, and again, a million people can do the same thing, but it's still saying that, you know, you're the missing piece of the puzzle. Now, the Six of Wands is mirroring the Tower. So, I, I already knew that you were going to be over, to overcome this tower. I already knew it. I felt it. Um, and by the way, I feel like some of you may receive like epiphanies in your dreams. And why would that be like, why not give them to me when I'm awake? Well, maybe I miss them when I'm awake. Maybe I'm just able to better receive them in that way. And if that's the case, I'd say keep a dream journal. Because sometimes your dreams may not make sense. You know, it's funny. I had a dream um, like I I haven't been feeling well. And um, I never take a nap during the day because I feel like crap when I wake up. But I did for like six hours. And I had a dream that I went to a doctor and the doctor said, um, oh, you have long-term long covid and I woke up and I that's the part of the dream I remembered. And so now I wonder, you know, I should go get checked. But I don't have health insurance. So, um, and it is what it is, you know. So anyway, keep a dream journal. Trust in your dreams. All right. Anyways, this is, uh, first of all, I feel like in the Six of Wands, it's very alluring type energy. And you carry that energy anyways. You are very alluring. And again, like whatever it is that you create, whatever you put forth in the world, I feel like other people are definitely picking up on it. Um, it two energies where other people are admiring what you do. Now, in the Six of Wands, they're admiring your actions. You know, your actions. Now, that could also be your words. You know, but it, it is your actions. And maybe it's how you 
overcame this tower, how you came back from it, how you gave allowed yourself to have this rebirth. And then maybe you're helping to share that with others. I feel like this king is definitely paying attention. Again, you may not even know it. Look at that. The Ace of Cups coming under the Two of Cups. I'm sorry, the Ace of Pentacles coming under the Two of Cups. Well, I kind of love that because this Ace talks about something that's coming into your physical world. This is something that um, can truly take root. You know, I can grow from an Ace to the Ten with my focus upon it, of course. You know, this is, I feel like, your seed of intention. Like, maybe it is a dream that you were having. Um, you know, because we first energy we had is God is answering your prayers right now. Ace of Pentacles is coming into your physical world. It is connected to the Two of Cups. And also connected to the um, Six of Wands. And then we have the Seven of Cups, which is in reverse. So, interesting with the Seven of Cups and the Upright, it's like, ah, uh, I have to choose a cup. But I don't want to choose a cup. What if I choose another tower? You know, a lot of fear associated with that, but it's in reverse. So, I feel like um, the choice becomes easy. Also, a Seven, which is um, the universal year. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Can be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But this is probably you. Um, and it's probably talking about the energy that would suit you. So let's talk about the Queen of Pentacles. Grounded, first and foremost. Uh, but this Queen is someone who can really pick up on those details that other people miss. You know how I said that I felt like some of you... Um, many of you are psychic, whether you use that or not. You know, intuitive, let's let's put it that way. Uh, well, the Queen of Pentacles is perfect for that because that's what she does. You know, I am the Queen of Pentacles and that's what I do. Like, I'm looking for those details that maybe other readers might miss. And that's probably why my readings are longer. So, what's underneath her? Six of Pentacles. Hmm. Give and take. Compassion. Compassion for my fellow man. It's interesting too because the queen is holding a pentacle in her hand. A big pentacle. And here it is. So maybe you're manifesting this pentacle, knowingly or unknowingly. If it's speaking of love, I don't feel like you're the only one who's trying to manifest. And, and I'm saying trying. Maybe that's not even the right word. I feel like as it relates to a relationship, a prior relationship, because we do have the three of swords, I feel like um, I feel like someone was just in a lower type energy. And um, try as I will, I cannot change that. I cannot change them. Um, I don't, you know, like uh, I feel like uh, like I don't even want to anymore. We have the Four of Swords, healing. Beautiful. Right over the Empress. You know, let's talk about the Empress for a second. Because the Empress is also very loving, very nurturing, very creative. Um, definitely receives epiphanies. You know, um, pays attention to those epiphanies, signs, what have you. Gives birth to them, you know. Um... I feel like the Empress does release control of like 
because she knows she's learned through her experiences that you know I can pray a prayer I can pray a prayer if that sounds right um, but then I kind of leave go or let go of exactly how it must show so this three swords is being healed beautiful and then the Queen of Pentacles is back again right over the tower could also relate to losing a job but then if that's the case, something bigger and better comes along. Look at this nine of cups. Beautiful. So the Empress goes through this healing period. And that healing is over the three of swords. No doubt. But then she closes the door to that. As much as she can. It's energetic. And then allows this rebirth, which is coming through this ace of pentacles and the two of cups, I feel, and the three of pentacles, to come into play nine of cups is where i'm really starting to love my life again this is about inner harmony and i have to tell you i feel like if this is you know for some of you if it's relating to love you know how can you best guarantee that you'd have like a good relationship well you need to have that inner harmony within yourself first this is, you know, and then I feel like in the Nine of Cups, hey, love comes, it comes. If it doesn't, I'm fine. Over the Four of Pentacles, some of you are working from home. And um, listen, if you're not loving it yet, you will be. When I think of Nines, I do think of independence. So, you know, maybe I had to get to this independent state. Um, and maybe I had to find that balance within me again, that inner harmony. You know, the universe is definitely doing their part. You know, the Nine of Cups singular and then the Ace of Pentacles down here. Something is coming into your physical world. Well, connected to the Two of Cups. We have the Nine of Wands. Interesting, we have two Nines back to back. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you why I feel like this Nine of Cups is here. Because I feel like someone had the guts to really reflect upon their life. They had the guts to look at their own responsibility within their life. And, and I don't mean in a judgment way, right? Don't judge yourself. You know, mistakes are really experiences that taught you something. You know, some of them are going to result in a tower, yes. But it doesn't mean you can't overcome that tower. You know, especially at the higher foot right below it. Like, keep your belief strong. Nine of Wands, I feel like, you know, if I'm willing to do that reflection, know my own responsibility within all parts of my life, then I truly become, you know, what I call the spirit warrior. You know, it just makes me feel like, Listen, I've been through it all. What? What? There's nothing I can't handle anymore. How can I make my life happier? And maybe leave the two of cups out of it for a second. How can I bring inner harmony to myself? Whoa. Just knocked everything. Temperance. Divine timing. Temperance's first lesson is patience. Why? Why do I need patience? Because there's something here that needed to be healed, no doubt. There is the energy of you needing to find this inner harmony. I, sh I shouldn't say needing to. I feel like the opportunity just shows itself. You know, sometimes going through that dark night of the soul reveals more to me than anything could ever reveal to me. And I feel like once I've gone through it and understand it, chances are I'm not going to repeat it. 
Why? Well, the Empress is opening up the reading, and anything that this Empress needed to heal, it's right there. So, the Empress, you know, remember, she doesn't close her heart down. She stays loving, she stays nurturing, but she's very powerful, she's very strong, especially if she's done this true reflection, and I feel like she has. So temperance is like patience first, divine timing, trusting in divine timing, all things in their time. Card of Sagittarius. I have a feeling there's a couple Sagittarius here who'd be like, why didn't you mention me? We have the Page of Pentacles. Well, this is a period of time when you're learning. There's a, not, a lot of knowledge being gained. Um, truly beneficial. Some of you, this could also talk about, it can certainly talk about um, a younger time, someone of a younger period. Um, but I feel like it's more about like everything that you've been learning. And then I feel like if... You know, there's something you want to create. This may be the time. I love this coming over the Hierophant. So, you know, if nothing else, you're really learning about your belief system. You know, you're you're putting it in check. Do I still believe in love? Do I still believe that I can create unlimited potential for myself? Higher if it wants you to. Page of Pentacles. This could also talk about because we have the page and then the Queen of Pentacles above that. It could talk about doing something that um, you even went to school for that maybe you haven't used or brought to the table. Maybe you haven't had the opportunity. And maybe now is the right time. And then look at this we have the Hermit. Card of Virgo coming right over the Two of Cups. Doesn't have to be a Virgo, though. You know, I feel like for some of you, you definitely have looked at your emotional house. You know, you looked at, like, the things that didn't work. And you understand, like, that you can't put it all on your shoulders. You know what I mean? Like, if you were someone who tended to put, like, the responsibility all on your shoulders, you've learned that and understood or now understand that, you know, because don't forget this queen's got the six of pentacles. So that fine art of give and take, open to receiving. I know you easily give, but are you open to receiving? The hermit does make me feel like you, you did walk through the dark night of the soul. You know, interestingly, we have three nines right here. That alone could be a message. I feel like you may have gone through a period where not much was happening. Not much was happening. But I feel like that is now changing. You know, this can be a Virgo for some of you, but I also want to say I feel like this is truly your wisdom. Um, and I love that the Hermit is has emerged from the cave. So, you know, I got some answers to those big questions, probably spiritual type answers to help you in this physical plane. And now the Hermit shining the beacon of light outwardly to help others. Someone's picking up on your light. Someone is picking up on your light. You know, this hermit's also illuminating the Three of Swords. So I feel like the Three of Swords can't have the same effect that it used to. It could have been like debilitating. But now I feel like you're able to start moving forward. Three nines does tell me that things were probably somewhat at a standstill, but why? 
because there was reflection that needed to happen because you needed to find that inner harmony your wisdom again you know i feel like the hermit's an old soul that um under you know can truly understand you know with time this isn't something overnight i feel like it, it takes time to understand it but the page of pentacles being right next to the hermit uh, you know, I feel like if someone is like, let's say going to school to be um, like a minister or a rabbi or anything that has to do, you know, maybe with religion, um, but it doesn't have to be religion, but just, you know, a higher, a higher vibrational type energy. I feel like then you're putting it, you're bringing it to the world. Keep going. Let's look at the three swords and see exactly what else the hermit is illuminating. Six of cups. Interesting. Well, that makes sense because the six of cups is usually someone from my past. But this is usually someone that I have good memories of, treasured memories of. You know, this could also talk about a love that didn't work out because a new love is coming in. And I'm saying that because temperance is over here, mirroring the Six of Cups. And I know temperance wouldn't let someone come in who's going to break your heart. You know what I mean? Or has that type of vibration. You know, if you're in the Empress's energy, your vibration is much higher now, right? If you can find that inner harmony, doesn't mean your life is perfect. Doesn't mean that there aren't issues. But within those issues, you can still find center. Six of Cups. Nine of Cups, the Hermit is illuminating the Six of Cups. Certainly I could have been in a relationship with this person. And certainly they could have broken my heart. But again, I feel like there's no way Temperance would bring in someone who um, automatically is just going to break your heart. I don't feel that. And listen, I feel like if... If you're in the Empress's energy, which you naturally have, it's a vibration. Think of it that way. It's a vibration. The Empress says, you know, yes, I've had my heart broken in many different ways. But I've taken the time to reflect upon it. I know my own part in it. Um, and sometimes it just means maybe I stayed too long. Whatever it may be. The Empress doesn't shut her heart off, right? It's like, it doesn't mean that she's necessarily looking for love. It's just she's open to what the universe has in store for her. Oh, look at this. And then the lovers. Okay. So the Six of Cups moves into the lovers. Um, first of all, it is a card of Gemini. Its meaning is a head over heart decision, but it's chemistry. Now, I could look at this, you know, some people may read this and be like, okay, there's someone from your past that you don't want to take back or what have you. But I'm seeing the two of cups that has the ace of pentacles attached to it. So I know that it means that the Two of Cups is going to enter your love, a soulmate. Now, does it have to be romantic? Well, now that the lovers is out, it kind of feels that way. So whether this person is someone who has hurt, you know, broke my heart in the past, let's say they are coming back around. Well, if you're in the Empress's energy and they're not coming in the light, you'll know it. You'll feel it. Right? Trust yourself. You know, the red, so the red signs are always sent. Or the red flags. 
but we ignore them a lot. I'm like, eh. All right, let's keep going. And then I'm just telling you, Aquarius, I feel like someone is admiring you from afar. We have the moon. Card of Pisces, ruler of Cancer. You know, the moon can um, be uncertainty, right? I can only see as far as the moonlight allows me to see versus the sun, right? This is also very dreamy type energy. Again, I feel like your dreams, um, your dreams are important. Some of you are connecting to, like you're having dreams about someone. And even if it's not that person, I feel like, you know, it's like your heart's being activated. Maybe like while you're sleeping. It's interesting. I'm picking that up when I'm holding the moon. Four of Pentacles again. Now the Four of Pentacles is right over the Ace of Pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles to me speaks of your home, your foundation. And this tells me it's something that's going to make your foundation even stronger. Well, I feel like because some of you have already done like, let's just say, um, work on yourself. When I say work on yourself, I just mean that you're learning to let go of the things that you cannot control. You're, you're learning to keep your heart open even though it's been broke. You know, you're learning that um, sometimes things are eclipsed out of my life um, because of something better. You know, doesn't mean that you should regret where you've been because you you know those were experiences that taught your soul a lot that allowed you to actually get to this vibration of the empress eight of wands fast moving energy that's why it says your prayers are being answered now fast moving energy this is also what i think about i bring about it's mirroring the lovers Coming over the Seven of Cups, but Seven of Cups was in reverse. So, you know, let's talk about the Seven of Cups for a second again. You know, that's where um, I want to choose a cup, but I have a hard time choosing a cup. First of all, it can be because it's chaotic. You know, this could be something that comes in very quickly. Eight of Wands would represent that. Something that comes in quickly. Like, wow, where'd you come from? Someone may be saying, I've been watching you all along. And I don't mean that in a scary type of way. You know, it could be someone like, you know, um, let's say you have like a YouTube channel. It's a follower. Or let's say, um, or subscriber, I should say. Let's say, you know, you do something on social media. I feel like you, though, are helping in some way. And someone else is admiring that. Anyways, Eight of Wands, fast moving energy. And then we have the Page of Wands with that. First of all, we have two pages, which would make sense with the Six of Cups here. Two younger energies. You know, we do have a queen who is now matured. Doesn't mean old. Um, I often feel the Page of Wands is like the fool's energy and what i mean by that is this page is someone who does take chances okay well i'm not going to leave it there because i feel like we still have some questions i'm going to come down um yeah I'm going to look at the lovers because the lovers is attached to, look at that, temperance. Again, divine timing, right? All in divine timing. Strength card, card of Leo. And then look at this, the Ten of Cups. We have the Nine of Cups in the same row as the Ace of Pentacles. That Ace of Pentacles comes into your world. It's something that can take root. It's something that can last a lifetime. So we move from that nine, that ace comes in, and look at this. We're now at the ten of cups. Strength card first. So what does the strength card talk about? It talks about the inner beast within ourselves and learning how to balance that. 
you know, eight is about self, but it's also about new beginnings. Also about infinity, as above, so below. You know, we already know divine has their hand in this because it's everywhere in your reading. So, I'm not worried about this lover. At all. All right, I want to jump over to the Six of Cups. King of Pentacles. Well, there's the Queen's counterpart. Um, can be a Virgo, can be a Taurus. We have both here, um, but can also be Capricorn. Doesn't have to be any of that. This king is someone who looks at their life from the big picture down. Differently than the queen, right? She's the one who's like in between. Like I'm reading the details that other people miss. He, he, he looks at everything from the big picture down. But they're great together at the same time. Five swords. Interesting. But then the Ace of Swords. So this could be, for some of you, um, someone that you were with before. And I'm saying that because the Five of Swords is here. And it's interesting, when you look at this Five of Swords, two people have swords in their back. I feel like you went through the tower. But in a way, I feel like they went through a tower. You know, this could be someone who was just immature at the time. And maybe they have matured. But it will take your energy. You know what I mean? I, I shouldn't say, well, it will take your energy to trust it. And then look at this, the Ace of Swords. So there's some type of communication coming in. Whether it be a written word, a text, a phone call. I feel like when the Ace of Swords is bringing in the communication. It's bringing in an element of truth. Their truth, your truth. Getting to the bottom of the truth. I feel like both suffered the tower, even though it feels like, you know, it feels like the tower was given to you. So I do feel like for some of you, this is someone of your past who, um, I don't know. Maybe you broke each other's hearts. I know a lot of you don't like it when I say like it's someone of the past. But that's reality. Because, you know, that is my life. I'm living with someone of my past. And there were issues that we had to work out. You know, it's like um, immediately, like 40 years had passed. The phone rings. And immediately I felt all those feelings that I had felt when I was a teenager again. It was immediate. But there were still things that needed to be worked out. Now we just so happened to work it out over the phone. Because we were in two different states. Now when I give my experiences, it's because I feel like some of you um, are going through something similar. Okay. Okay. I think what I want to do, though, is I'm going to pull all this up real quick. I want I don't want to keep you too, too long, because I know you guys are waiting for the reading. And I know a lot of people don't even get this far, which is a shame, because I feel like this is where it gets exciting. But I want to look at the Two of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, because I know it's coming in. And let's use the um, Gilded Tarot. And let's just kind of surround this energy. I feel like I need to read this one more time. I know that God in his infinite wisdom and love is answering my prayers right now. So the Ace of Pentacles is connect to that too. We're going to keep them out just like they came out. It actually would be like this. Let's 
เกมมาคาดนายสวอร์ดส์นายสวอร์ดส์ lot of worry sleepless nights like you telling me it's in my dreams Sandy's back Sandy but I can't fall asleep that's because of worry n i n e s w o r d s is unnecessary worry though So if I'm trying to control something that I have no control over, it's about letting that go. Another nine. You know, I feel like Aquarius, you've been in a state of deep reflection, and I do feel like it has the opportunity of truly serving you. I feel like I want to bring this down here. Three of Pentacles, man. I feel like someone is noticing you, and I kind of feel like you don't even know it. I also feel like, man, and I'm beginning this a lot in June's readings, like the ability to collaborate with something, someone, and um, oh, and just so happen probably falling in love at the same time. The moon is back. Um, again, Pisces, roller of Cancer. I feel like your dreams play a big part. In this reading, and maybe it's not like literally your dreams. Maybe it's just dreams that you have. This could talk about something that's happening around, maybe a full moon or a new moon. I think we just had what the new moon in Taurus. I could be wrong. Don't hold me to it. Strength card is back again. Some of you are connected to a Leo. The devil came in reverse, which I'll take it. Now, could be Capricorn, but I also feel like because the devil's coming next to the Strength card, the Strength card talks about again that inner demon within us. You know, the finding balance within that. It could talk about things that were tempting. You know, this could talk about an earlier age where someone had to overcome. I mean, they didn't have to, but to to have a better life, they did. And I feel like they did overcome it. It's good to talk about both of you, though overcoming. You know, strength card is inner balance above all. Funny, we got three major arcana there: the Moon, the Strength card, and the Devil. Pisces, Ruler, Cancer, Strength card, Leo, the Devil, Capricorn. Capricorn's the only one coming in reverse at this moment. Look at this; I love it. Judgment. This is your spiritual team. This is another message calling you to the present moment. You know, if this is someone from the past, your signs are in the present. This is about a rebirth. Your spiritual team is calling you to just be aware. That means that you're going to be guided. You know, and listen. If a sign comes in and you're uncertain, like was that a sign? Ask your guides to send another sign. Make it bigger. Make it so I can't even deny it. Like, oh, that's a sign. Look at that! 
Ace of Swords again. Listen, I feel like who's ever coming in this Two of Cups, who's ever coming into your physical world, and by the way, this Ace of Pentacles, it's not just speaking about love. It's also speaking about your creative house. And um, I feel like, you know, moving, like moving into the energy of starting to see um, the harvest of your hard work. You know, and then also trusting in your abilities and um, what it is that you bring to the world. You know, even if you've had towers, you've been knocked down, get back up again. I feel like you're being guided in probably in all areas of your life. This Ace of Swords coming right under judgment. It speaks of the truth. And by the way, you know, it's interesting because even though the devil is a card of Capricorn, if this is speaking of like lower temptation energy, it's in reverse. And then your spiritual team comes here, almost like protecting you over it, protecting the soulmates. And then the Ace of Swords. This has to go. It's the only thing that doesn't really fit. Because look what the Ace of Swords brings out. The Ten of Cups. The house of harmony. You know, it started with inner harmony. And now it's ending with the house of harmony. This is the house of love, laughter, joy. Doesn't mean that there won't be issues in this house. But these people work it out together. Their love is stronger than the issue. This is a love that I just feel like is going to last for the rest of your life. Now, there is free will, and we can't control another's free will, right? But beyond that, I feel like it has the potential. Second time we saw the Ace or the Ten of Cups. First connected to the lovers, now connected to the Two of Cups with judgment right there. I feel like, believe. You know, does that mean, well, I was just going to say, does that mean everything's happening like quickly? At first I was going to say no, but then the energies that keep showing, excuse me, keep talking like yes. Yes, this is something that's moving quickly. All right, let's read trust. Trust. All right. You ask this question because you desire reassurance that everything is going to be okay. This card asks you to trust that indeed it will be. By relaxing with faith and trusting in God's infinite intelligence, you open the doorway to the answers to your prayers in ways, oh, in the ways, oh wait, in this way, you are more receptive to hearing heavenly, heavenly guidance, which gives you intuitive instructions about which action steps to take. As you take them, you bring about divine results. This card promises you a favorable resolution to your current situation, even if it differs from your own expectations. Mother Mary lovingly asks you to step out of the way so that God's handiwork has room to enter. Surrender any fears, worries, or desires to control the outcome. Trust in God's wisdom and love. Wow. I feel like the universe is supplying you opportunity, potential love. And listen, I feel like if I'm just beginning like in the three of pentacles of energy, I'm really just starting with a craft. It's, it's giving you confirmation that you can truly be successful even after the towers. You know, those towers truly for some of you were a great source of learning but judgments like okay we're no longer living in the past though i need you here in the here and now 
some type of communications coming in. By the way, if these are signs coming in, I feel like they're going to be loud and clear. Again, you can certainly ask for it to be sent again. But man, Aquarius, I feel like you probably have the best reading so far um, because this is covering all areas of your life. Now, I know I said for some like, you know, um, this is like if this speaks of love, it's someone of the past. It doesn't have to be someone of the past. And by the way, it doesn't, even, you know, it can be someone of the past, but maybe not someone you're in a relationship with. Though, for some of you, I know it was because that five of swords. Though I did notice that both people had swords in their backs. So, you know, I say leave it open. That's what you're being guided to do. Just leave it open and trust in divine. I'm just going to make sure my vibration's high. I'm going to find inner harmony with myself. I'm going to balance my own life. And I guarantee you what flows back to you is going to match that. And how beautiful is that? This ace. This is not just a one-time deal. This is something that can come, you know, I, I often feel like these aces will, like once I take this ace, then another ace will show up. But connected directly to that two of cups. I mean, come on, there's a soulmate coming in and then the ten of cups that has the potential of true love. Not just true love, but the ability to Take it the whole way. Take it the whole way. Create true roots with this person. And then just flow. I feel like the word for you is flow with the universe. Flow with the universe, at least for June. But really forever. Alright, I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, I thank you. I thank you for your patience. Um, I thank you for every way that you support my channel. Thank you for sharing my videos. It certainly helps the channel grow. Um, and it helps the person, you know, because what I mean by that is like, you're what you're listening to this reading. You're like, oh, it reminds you of someone. I, if they're okay with that, I would send it to them because it may give them the clarity that they've been looking for. Um, but nonetheless, I thank you. In every way, thank you for your donations. It is truly what keeps this channel alive because um, YouTube is just not paying us anything. It's just crazy. Like they, they've done so many changes that the ones who've been with them for the longest, um, they kind of left us out in the cold. They forgot about us. So that's why your support is everything anyway i love you guys i thank you um by the way i did do a special um i did end it on may 25th but then i got so many emails like ah, oh, you know because it was memorial weekend people are like oh, i wasn't able to see it so i did extend it um i think i'll do that for you for one day from the day that I post this. Um, and the reason why I'm keeping it so limited is, you know, I have a lot. And that means a lot of work to do. Um, and I don't want you to have to wait too, too long. So, anyways, nonetheless, what a beautiful reading, Aquarius. Um, I thank you for the pleasure of allowing me to read for you. Um, you're, I always love doing your readings. They are, they always like stimulate my mind. So thank you. All right. I will see you. I don't know if I'm going to do this as a premiere or not. Um, but if I do, I'll see you at the premiere. If not, I'll see you next time at our table. Thanks. Bye-bye.